Greetings managers, this is the warden speaking. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy Holidays, as Miracle and District 20 is the seasonal event. Instead of covering just the boss, I'll go over the stages and the best build for this chapter. In this event, Pierce Damage and Resistance to Blunt Damage will be your focus. Here are the weaknesses. Stage 3 is the first battle, having only Don Quixote and Heathcliff. The best combination is Base Heathcliff and any Don Quixote ID that has Pierce Damage. Notably, W Corp L3 Cleanup Agent, Sync Association South Section 5 Director. While R Corp 4th Pack Rabbit Heathcliff is incredibly strong, he is extremely weak on the first stage as he runs out of bullets very quickly. He'll be of use later. This first stage is incredibly easy. Stage 4 is the second battle. You will now notice the sinners with the two strongest pierce identities cannot be deployed. I have tried out various types of teams, even having no synergy between my sinners. The second stage is also incredibly easy. Stage 5 through 7 are just like the first two stages. The mobs are always the same. However, on stage 7 on the last wave, there is a bigger unit that is much tankier. They will become more frequent in future stages. Stage 8 and 9 have these bigger mobs. On stage 10, you can finally have Don Quixote and Heathcliff. Stage 11 is where you have to fight the boss, Weakness, which is the same to the mobs. This boss has only two body parts, his body and his gift sack. When his gift sack is destroyed, one of his moves, let's get packing, gets minus two base power, as it is a very strong attack. On his second turn, the boss will shield up. Be sure not to use egos and waste out on potential damage. Keep these moves in mind and you'll triumph over the boss. Stage 13 is pretty much identical to stage 11, making it the last grindable pit stop for the event. Now, how do you X clear? In the earlier stages, bringing in AoE Egos that pierce will be your best bet early on. Otis's Ebony Stem shines and will help you X clear. In the later stages, you'll be resource capped and will need to find an alternative when the boss is thrown into the mix. This is the team I made to clear the boss as quickly and cleanly as possible. It's a team around charge, complementing it with Burst and Tremor. Grip Faust is one of the best units to bring, as she has great pierce damage and is resistant to blunt damage. Avoid bringing sinners that are weak to blunt damage, but Rabbit Heathcliff and Cleanup Agent Don Quixote are the exception. Protect them and let them pop off. On top of this, they both possess teleport egos that pierce. While Heathcliff's damage is AoE, Don Quixote's telepole is only a single target ability. However, it is still invaluable since it grants her charges. Also, do not spam the auto win wheel. Plan out your moves accordingly and do not waste them. Use the first few ways to farm out affinity resources and charges on your sinners. If you do, you should at least clear it by turn 10. I could have done a one turn earlier, but I stayed up all night to play and edit this goddamn thing. And I think that's it. Oh, one more thing. I made all my identities available as a support. Go ahead and add me, but I'll probably be asleep by the time this video is up. But anyways, it's been quite the fabulous year ever since I started in February when Limbus Company came out, getting banned the first week, but since then, I've made steady growth. It's crazy to me that I'm sitting at 1,180 subscribers. Thank you. Now, here's to another year. And everything for the Limbus Company. Warden out.